Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel. So, it's been kind of a week. First, dealing with just brutal Texas heat and humidity with no air conditioning. Thankfully, that's been fixed, so that at least feels a lot better. But then I got hit kind of hard with the depression hammer. Yeah, fun times. I want to extend my thanks to my viewers and fans over on Twitter for sending me in some distracting questions. Distraction has always kind of been my coping mechanism, so I'm feeling a bit better now. So, time to get back to things. In the downtime, I did do a good bit of zenny grinding, so we have money to do what we need to. Also got some bug frags, those aren't as important right now, but they will be at some point. Also some new battle chips, starting with Cannon Asterisk. I found this in Green Mystery Data over on the main comm system, so that's definitely going in the folder. We also have a couple of codes now for Cackball 1. Crack Bomb came from Bug Tanks, I found those over in Dad's comp. And we have two codes now for Fire Hit 1. We are working towards some program advances, but we are missing some codes here and there. We need access to stronger versions of these viruses, and we don't have that just yet. I am, however, going to go ahead and put this in the folder to replace the lob shot type chips. I'm just really not good at using those. Anytime I hit something with them, it just feels like pure dumb luck. So, yeah. With that out of the way, it's time for some cleanup. We'll try and make this as quick and painless as possible. We have the money to afford all the unlockers that I need now. So, let's go for it. Also, may as well open up the way to Mail's homepage now that we have the code. Nah, I'm not gonna hurt you. So, we need two more unlockers. And to speed this up, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a sneak run. As long as sneak run is active, weaker viruses cannot run into us. So, that'll make things a bit faster. Most of the viruses here are considered weaker than we are. It's not 100% though, so some things still may actually run into us. Sadly, it doesn't just do a check and ask, do you want to use one of the unlockers that you're carrying around? You actually do still have to go into the subchip menu for this. Weird decision, but there you go. And we get Black Bomb R. 210 fire damage, fire bomb hits third square ahead. This is a bit misleading. There's a caveat to this. First off, it is another lob shot type attack. You actually throw a bomb, and if you hit with the bomb itself, you only do 100 damage. If the bomb lands, though, and is subsequently hit with a fire type attack, then it does 210 fire damage to all panels surrounding it. So, yeah, there's some setup involved. There is, however, a particular reason that I've been asked to put it in the folder, and if this works, it'll be funny. The only problem is... We're basically relying on my luck for a 1 out of 30 chip draw in the first turn. And how much do I trust my luck? We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it happens, because like I said, if it does work, it's funny. Okay, so we need two HP memories. I'm also going to go ahead and buy Spreader Asterisk, because that works toward another program event, and so does Vulcan 1C. I don't have enough to buy High Cannon or Cust Sword. The reason they're highlighted in green is because I don't have those chips at all. Over on the items list there, you can see all possible codes for them, and the fact that I don't have any of them, so they're not in my chip library. We'll get them at some point. For now, though, time for the rest of the cleanup. First, over to Yai's system. So, coming over this way... We get... Cannonball C. Breaks third panel ahead. 140 break damage. So this can break through enemy guards. It does have that going for it. But it's also another lob shot type attack. They really want me to have those.
one more to go, and that's back over at Dad's comp. So, back to Scilab with us. Go through here. And back onto the easy to enter computer that contains state secrets. This is also the system that had the bug tanks in it. None actually came up during the original recording, sadly. But they're in here. And we get Bug Fix H. This one's a Mega Class chip, as you can see from the blue coloring. Repairs and removes bugs. And, well, we don't have anything that causes bugs yet, so for the moment this is completely useless. Oh well. At the very least, it's in the chip library now, and that's what matters. Collection points. As long as we're here, there is one other thing I do want to point out over here. I forget if I mentioned this during the previous episodes. A tactical planning computer. It can simulate countless situations for the best result. It's locked against jacking in now. I think you actually can get in here later on. Right now, though, we can't. Hey, Beryl, how's it going? Watch me actually have already taken care of looking at that in the previous episode, and I just don't remember. My memory is not to be trusted. I'm an old man. But anyway, it's time to finally advance the plot. By going to bed. Bedtime already? You want to save what happened today? Sure. Can I overwrite the previous data? Why not? Okay, all saved. Good night, Len. The next day. Wow, today we fight Nebula. Hope I can handle it. I wonder why he hasn't contacted me yet. Len, it's your phone. Len, the ACDC Area 3 Liberation Mission begins now. You must free the area from Nebula's grip. This time you're in charge of Navi Operation. Navi Operation? Beryl, you're not going to fight with me. Nebula has blocked standard access to the area slated for liberation. Only one person can operate navvies in an occupied area. I would operate them myself. But I have to command officials at the national level. Wait, you mean I have to complete this mission alone? That is correct. I've also sent Colonel into ACDC Area 2. Colonel will guide you on the mission. Dots! So you mean... I'll be operating Colonel as well? That's right. But... I'm not even sure if I can handle that. I... If you're having second thoughts, get off the team now. We have no time for cowardice. I thought you wanted to save your father, and Lan. I know that not just anybody can handle Colonel. But you defeated the mad scientist Wily in his World 3, destroyed the Net Mafia Gospel, and defeated Regal once before. Now this is interesting. This came up a lot in the comments section, people saying, what, people don't remember Lan's accomplishments from the past games? Beryl is actually addressing it. Though he did still feel the need to test us. Kinda makes it feel like it was more a formality than anything else. He is at least addressing the fact that we have proven ourselves previously. So, this is why he sought us out. We've actually made a name for ourselves. With your background, I know you can handle Colonel. Dots. Beryl. Maybe you're right. I... I'll do it. I'll save Dad myself. That's the spirit. It's almost time. Jack in and head to ACDC Area 2. Roger. Lan, there's no room for mistakes. Rest assured. That's the spirit. You already said that. I wish you success. Mega Man, are you ready? Yeah, let's go, Lan. First, let's find Colonel in ACDC Area 2. Jack in! Mega Man! Execute! So, in we go. Back to ACDC 2 with us, but first, we've got mail. Be careful, from news mail. As you know, a criminal group called Nebula has launched an invasion of the net. As a result, security's been tightened all across the globe. 
Security is at its absolute tightest in End City, which is the center of the network. For your own safety, please stay off the net for now. No can do. We're on a mission. Okay, so we can go ahead and show what Fire Hit does. It has a one panel range, and it just damages the enemy that's on it. They can move out of range, and I think it only extends up to three columns. However, it's a pretty good solid chip to have. Despite it being basically a hooking uppercut, though, it only hits one panel. It doesn't have, like, wide sword range. It kind of looks like it would, but nope. Also, just to show, it can actually hit off of the row that you use it from. So it has a good bit of range that way. A little weaker than the lob shot type chips, but a bit more reliable as far as I'm concerned. Battle mystery data. Nice. Yeah, we want that. And bug frag. I think they're upset that I used that sneak run earlier. Right then. Can we make it to the rendezvous point? Hi there, Colonel. There you are. This mission will be carried out by the two of us. We'll be liberating ACDC Area 3, which lies past here. Roger. Len, you tuned in? Yeah. Just like Beryl told you on the phone, the success of this mission depends on your operation. I'm in your hands. No props. Leave it to me. Let's get this party started. Well, it sounds like you're ready. I'll show you how to proceed on this liberation mission. You'll learn the ropes after a couple of battles. Roger. Let's go, Mega Man. But how can I open that door? Like that, apparently. Like this. Now go. Talk about slice and dice. So, full disclosure, I'm giving myself a checkpoint here, because we haven't really done anything hard in this session so far, but we've done a lot of talky bits getting here, and I'd rather not have to go through that again if something goes wrong with this chunk of the recording session. Because, uh, yeah, we're about to do more big chunky tutorial time. So, yeah, been a while since I've called one of these, but refreshing pause. And we're back. So, time to continue on. Len, is it time for a liberation mission? We can't edit folders on the mission. Still okay? Yeah, we're good. Okay, Len, then let's go. I think that actually is a change in the DS version of the game, is you can modify your folders during liberation missions. Let's begin a liberation mission. This area is controlled by Blizzard Man. Defeating him will free the area, but... Take a look. That's a dark panel. It's tainted by dark power. We must liberate those panels to get to Blizzard Man. Liberate? Stand by a panel and press A button. Select the command Liberation. A virus will pop out from under the panel. Deleting these viruses is called Liberation. So I've got to delete viruses as I move ahead. Each Navi also has its own unique Liberate command. Screen divide for me, longsword for you. 
These let you liberate a big area all at once. Take a look at a gauge at the upper right. I think you mean the gauge. Those are order points. You use one point every time you use your special command. Some dark panels contain order points, so you'll be able to replenish them along the way. I'll go and give this liberation thing a try. Alright, good luck. Lan, you're the operator, so stay sharp. Leave it to me. Press R button if you want to operate a different Navi. Except for Mega Man, each Navi lets you use their special chip just once on the custom screen. My special chip is Colonel Cannon. Press L button to check the area map. Press start if you want to cancel the mission. Roger. One more thing. Yes? Don't liberate if you're in a situation like this. Why? What's the difference? The more dark panels surrounding an abbey, the harder the battle becomes. Get it? I recommend starting this battle from the lower right. Gotcha. Understood. Ready, Mega Man? You got it. Your mission is to liberate within seven phases. If you manage to pull it off, an official will give you a rare chip as a reward. Good luck. So, welcome to Liberation Missions. This is kind of the major gimmick of Battle Network 5, and it's a bit of a divisive one. For example, I've seen a lot of people in the comment sections on these videos complaining about how much they hate these missions. Personally, I really enjoy them. So, as stated, you get to use more than just Mega Man, and I think that is really cool. We are, however, going to start with Mega Man. Now, due to the isometric view, it makes it a little tricky to tell what they meant by the lower right. Instinct would make me say this, but clearing this panel, that's really not going to do anything for us. So I think they mean this one. Hold on, Len. Yes? Liberation battles are a bit different from virus busting. You have to beat all the viruses within three turns. Really? When the custom gauge is max, the custom screen opens. Also, if you can delete all viruses within one turn, you'll liberate all the panels around you. Alright, understood. I've got one more tip. It may help you if you get into a tight situation. If you happen to be caught between enemies, use the L and R buttons to switch your Navi's direction. So the L and R button function changes on the custom screen. I mean, you're not wrong, but... I don't think that's what he was talking about. I'm counting on you. So since we only had one single panel in front of us, they only get two columns to move around in, so we do have an advantage. Unfortunately, I don't really think I have a way to make use of the black bomb there. That's unfortunate. Oh well. So, as you can see, when the custom gauge fills, you don't get a choice. It just automatically puts you back in the custom screen. This way, you can't just sit there on your first turn and just cheese the enemy with the buster and say, Oh yeah, one turn liberation. It doesn't work that way. We liberated it. You're getting the hang of it. Let me tell you about Dark Holes next. Dark Holes? Take a look over there. That's a dark hole. You have to delete them before you can fight the dark lords. That's a guardian of a dark hole. Guess I'd better liberate dark holes right away. Guardians will attack closer enemies first. They're pretty nasty opponents. Either try to take them out before the dark lords attack phase, or try to liberate dark holes in one shot. Okay, let me give it my best shot. So we've already used Mega Man for this phase, so now it's Colonel's turn. Let's do it! Liberate panels! So once again, we just have them on two columns. That's a good start. So Colonel's charge shot is screen divide. It's a ranged sword attack you can actually hit farther ahead of yourself, and it strikes in kind of a V pattern. Yeah, one turn liberation. I found some zennies. Colonel got 500 zennies. Dark void phase. 
I'll turn this area into a nebula ski resort. Got it? Fortunately, no one's close enough to actually attack us. So, we have to fight this Guardian. Proof of concept, I can't use Screen Divide right now. You can't use your special liberation commands against Guardians. I'm actually gonna save Colonel for now and fight this Guardian with Mega Man. Let's do it. Liberate panels. So? Meet Big Brute. Well, this makes things easy. And there we go. Yeah! So since it was a one-turn liberate, I also cleared the panels that were connected to where I am. And we get order points. So, three more order points for us. Lovely. Now it's time to get rid of the dark hole. Once again, with dark holes, I don't think you can use special liberation commands. Uh, let's see here. Oh! That hit more than I expected it to. Ah, missed with that. Unfortunate. However, there is some good news. Even if you take more than one turn, when liberating a dark hole, it'll still act like you got a one-turn liberation and you will clear everything around it. So that's good at any rate. So now we have a good opportunity to use Longsword. This lets you clear the panel in front of you, plus the one beyond it. So this will save us a little bit of time. Okay, Mega Man, we're using order points. Roger, Longsword. So, let's see here. What's the best I can do with this? And it works out. One turn liberate. Nice job. You seem to be getting it. I sure am. If a Navi's HP is too low, choose pass. You'll skip a turn, but you'll also regain some HP. That makes sense. I'll do it. Huh? Hey, Colonel. What's that question mark panel? I'm not sure exactly, but I suspect it triggers an event. Or it might give you some extra HP or a chip. I see. Guess I'd better liberate those too. You got it. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's all up to you. Roger. So bonus panels are completely optional. Also, we found a heart. That's just HP recovery. So, we could go in here to get that, but I think my time would be better spent trying to get in there to that last dark hole. So, we're gonna go ahead and use Screen Divide now. Use Screen Divide to liberate? Okay, Colonel, we're using order points. Let's do it. Screen Divide. <laughs> 